I missed yesterday because they called me into work early and there was a spill out in Vacaville so I had to go out there and clean it all up and then process it and then I had to do my regular work and I didn't get home till late so I didn't get anything recorded but today they're not calling me in early so I have some time and what I want to do is get all these wires and things all tidied up and get the light installed better using the rubber boot that it's supposed to have because it doesn't have any protection right now but to do that I'm gonna have to take off all of this orange and everything so I'm gonna take the whole front end off so I can get into the light panel better yeah and then do it that way so I'm gonna figure this out got the front windshield got this panel there off so you can see inside there I've unplugged all the lights in the control panel um, got the screws out on this side got the screws out of the lower fairings down there and right now I'm gonna try and remove the lower fairings uh, shouldn't be too difficult there's some tabs that hold it in screws but I think it should just come off so let's see well, there's my lower fairings off and that's what the bike looks like without them actually it looks kind of cool except for it's I don't know it looks unfinished because it is but I don't know if this was a cleaner line here and not have all those tabs and holes and things it would look a little better I think but whatever lower fangs are off now I can work on getting these frame bolts out or not frame bolt, but they hold it on. And there should be one on this side as well, right there. Gotta get those off. And then I think there may be some screws up here, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna get those frame bolts out now. I got these little Pac Man shaped things off. They were uh, something like. I don't know, they were in there. They were in there and they were covering up those bolts. So I had to get those off. Got all the bolts out of the fairings. The only thing holding them on now is one, two, three. That's it. Once I get those three off, um, they'll be detached and I can remove the whole entire front end off. And then I'll actually be able to get inside of here without having all this in the way. And I can like hook up the lights better and just tidy up all the wires and make sure everything's secure and then put it all back together fun well there's the front fairings my dashboard and my headlights down there and everything and the rest of the bike is over here so that's what, how it looks without its front on kind of funny. I don't know, it kind of looks cool. I kind of like it. I don't know. It's weird. I wonder if there's a mod kit you can get that just kind of, instead of having all of this plastic, just put like a little headlight and turn signals up there. But it's designed to have that. So there's ugly parts like this whole stick thing sticking out of the front and Nothing's really finished up on the sides because it's all covered anyway. So you have all these extra brackets and things, but I don't know. Looks kind of cool though. Kind of cool. But anyway, now I get to uh, actually get in here and like fix this because before I only had like this much room to get in there. Now I have all this open space. It's all wobbly. But okay, time to hook up the lights. Got the new light installed right there with the rubber boot in. So it's kind of like that one except got wires because I've got my HID ballast, my igniter there, and then I also tapped off of my running light. So that's what that side looks like. Just two straight wires to a plug. And this one I've tapped off of. And I've got a lot of extra wire that I just coiled up and then it comes around and goes 
to this end, which when I put this back on the bike, that end will come up uh, through here somehow and attach right there to give my GPS power. So now I gotta put this back on, but it's hard to get everything lined up, so I'm gonna go get my brother to help. He's sleeping, so I'll try and do it on my own. Got the main front back on. Now I gotta put these little corners on. And then the bottom fairings. Put all the bolts back in. Plug in the lights and the dashboard. Put the windshield on. And should be good. All back together again. And the wires are a lot better looking than they were. Can't even really see anything down in there. There was a whole mess of wires right in there. No, there's just a little bit you can see, but a lot better, a lot more secure, and everything still works. So, cool. Now it's time for me to get ready and go to work.